Aloha guys, uh, Sean Stafford here. Welcome to um, a lovely beach resort in Maui where I'm taking a little bit of a holiday um, post WBFF Worlds which was exactly a week ago today. Um, I thought I'd just put something out there, a short video to let you know how I think the day went, what I thought of the show, the good things, the bad things, who I thought stood out as being, uh, as being worthy of a, of a special mention. And then to also thank um, a few people who have supported me and helped me to, uh, to get to this point today. So firstly, the show last Saturday. Um, for those of you who um, didn't watch on the pay-per-view, you missed one hell of a show. Something that WBFF does really well is put on a spectacular. Um, this wasn't anything like any physique show I've ever seen before. You, you know, people ask why I compete with the WBFF and if you'd seen the stage, if you'd seen the production, it, it doesn't even compare to any other physique show on the planet. And the, the caliber of athletes and the caliber of, of models that were on stage was um, was incredible. It was the strongest lineup I've ever seen. So congratulations to Paul, congratulations to Alison um, and the entire WBFF crew. It was um, it was certainly an event that uh, I think will put the WBFF firmly at the top of the, uh, the top of the pile. Um, when it comes to physique shows and putting on a one hell of a, a spectacle for the audience. How my day went, um, I came third, which from a personal point of view is a little bit disappointing, I'll be honest. Um, I won it last year, so for me to drop down a couple of places was um, was not ideal from a personal point of view. Um, I could stack up the excuses, I could say I was in hospital for a week, um, I could say that three weeks in my last six week prep wasn't great, I could say that I was kept waiting in the wings for sort of for, for 45 minutes before I stepped on stage and therefore I went really flat but um, all those things I, I felt I was ready to get on stage and they are just excuses and at pro level there's there's no real room for excuses so um, you know I, I think in the morning show pre-judging I came in flat I think I was pretty jet lagged and you know, I'd, I'd had three hours sleep the first night three and a half hours sleep the second and four hours sleep the night before that so I think to have that sort of level of sleep and that level of rest to go into a show like this wasn't wasn't ideal. And I think if um, if I compete again, I think I've got to be a bit smarter with the with the jet lag because that that really wiped me out. And I think it came across in the energy that I brought to the stage. Usually, you know, I'm really pumped up, but this time I just felt really flat. Um, I, I think I did pick myself up for the evening show, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the the pay per view footage when I get home. Um, because I really thought I brought some A game to the evening show, so I hope that came across and that everyone that was watching um, got a little bit, of, a little bit more about what they expect from me when I step on stage. So, fingers crossed. When I see that back, it'll, um, it'll be good. Um, I've seen some of the stage shots. I think maybe my condition wasn't quite where it should be. Um, as with all stage shots, you get about a hundred back. And last year, for instance, I'd say there was maybe thirty or forty really good shots. Um, you know, when the light hits you, your posing's right, the photographer clicks at the right time. Um, I think maybe this time when I got it back out of the 100, there were potentially 15 or 20 really good shots. So, you know, when you see it on Facebook, you'll say, oh no, he was in as good a shape as he was last year. But on the whole, I'd say potentially not as tight as I was last year, but um, I still felt great. I still felt thought that I was um, certainly in a condition where I could get up there and compete. Um, and therefore I needed to bring some energy. And potentially, I haven't seen it back, but potentially that was an area where I let myself down. Um, in terms of guys that I think really stood out as being uh, as, as being sort of shining lights from the show, um, I thought from the UK, I thought Ryan Jean Baptiste did really well. He came in in great condition as always. Um, he brought um, great energy to the stage, and um, yeah, he'd be really proud of his second place um, placing. It's a bump up from the last time he competed at Worlds, so. Um, I think he'll be, you know, although it's not number one spot, I think he can be really pleased with that. Um, I think Morella Clark um, in Fitness Diva was exceptional. That is arguably the toughest and um, most sort of competitive category at WBFF. There's some global icons in there. You know, you, you look at Andrea Brazier, you look at Jen Jewell, those guys are, are top of their game. And I think to, to finish for, for Morella to finish third behind those two is exceptional. And you know, I've seen some of the footage back of her, and I thought she was she was giving those girls a run for the, run for their money. So, you know, I thought she was unlucky potentially 
to not um, to not mix it up a bit more with them. But um, she was incredible, so she can be really proud of um, of, of what she did at Worlds. Other honourable mentions, I think James Alexander Ellis, um, top five in muscle model. Um, that's a massive event. Those guys, those guys are you know properly world class. AJ Ellison won. Um, you know other people in the in the top five were you know Jaco de Bruyne, uh, Stanley Wittenberg, Helgi. You know, those guys are the best muscle models in, in the world right now. So um, for JAE to to go up there and mix it up with those guys, um, I'm really proud of him. I think he's done really well. So um, big things to come from him. Hopefully he can bump himself up those placings um, a little bit more next year. Um, other mentions for the UK guys: Don Busby, Jason DeWicker, um, Tom Brazier. Uh, those guys always bring some great condition to the stage, and um, you know I hope they got out of. Um, the whole pro experience. This is the first pro show for a lot of them, so um, I hope they got a lot out of it. I know they got a lot out of their trip, but I hope they got a lot out of the show as well. So um, it was great to spend some time with those guys and um, see what they brought to the stage, which was great. Um, what's next for me? I've now, as you can see, I'm I'm on a beach in Maui, so some some much needed downtime. I've had a it's my first proper holiday in a year, so um, I'm really enjoying that. I'm gonna. Hit a Molokini later, which is a speedboat out to a deserted island and do some snorkeling. So that's my immediate plans. Um, when I get home, I've got a lot of things I need to focus on. Um, City Athletic, which is my business, is um, it's got to take priority for a little bit. Um, we've got to really drive that up to be the um, the best performance gym in London. Which you know, it's it's an amazing place to work, and I'm I'm really proud of all the team that I've got there. Um, we all work hard, so. I've got to, now that the competition's out of the way, I've got to really put some focus into that. Also coming up in November, we've got the WBFF show uh, in London, which is going to be a huge event. Um, it's at the Indigo 02 on November the 9th. It's it's an amateur show. I think, as, as this goes to press, um, it's already sold out from an athlete point of view. So we've already got the 200 spaces full. So any model category, so only bikini, fitness diva, fitness model and muscle model will be competing. Um, at London, it's a straight show. Um, it's going to be incredible. I've seen the production value that the WBFF put into these sort of shows, and it's going to be exceptional. So I'm looking forward to um, pushing that on over the next couple of months and uh, bringing something special to um, to the UK. Um, I think all that's left for me to do is say thank you to a few people. Thank you to Reflex Nutrition, my my number one sponsors. I I can't actually be. Um, thankful enough to these guys they're a phenomenal company to be involved with they've got great guys they've got great products they've got great ethics um, they've supported me um, sort of 110 percent um, since I came on board with them a couple of years ago and I cannot ask for a, a, a great co you know greater company to be involved with the um, yeah I'm truly really thankful for all the support they've given me um, and uh, I'm looking forward to giving a little bit back to those guys over the next uh, couple of months and, uh, and really promoting them and uh, do some good things for them. I'd also like to thank uh, Lululemon Athletica for um, getting involved on a sportswear point of view. These guys are a, a phenomenal company. They produce um, really good, um, really good sports kit. I've just done a few shoots in their in their stuff, and I got some uh, some new kit when I was in Las Vegas. And on oh my word, it's it's unbelievable. And they're growing massively in the UK at the moment. So um, hopefully, I can I can be at the front of that and help push those guys on. Um, a little bit in terms of their their sort of exposure in the UK. So watch out, Lululemon Athletica is coming to the UK. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank uh, my lovely wife, who is currently sitting on a sun lounger over there. Um, she's been my rock. She always supports me. Um, on the day, she gave me really great feedback, um, was, was brutally honest with me, and, and gave me exactly what I needed to do. And she's like that 24/7 for me. So. Um, I'd like to thank her and thank all my friends and my family who have supported me as well. Um, all the followers on Facebook, all the followers on Twitter, you guys have um, really really helped pick me up after the, um, the lows of a, a competition um, where I didn't win. So, um, yeah, I, I really appreciate all the support you guys give me and, um, yeah, keep, keep checking in with me. I'm going to keep putting out content. I'm going to keep uh, promoting, you know, my workouts and the healthy stuff that I do. So, um, just want to say thank you and thanks for watching. Uh, Aloha from Maui and um, I will check in again when I'm back in the UK. Thanks.